Hi there, welcome back. In today's lesson, I will teach you how to implement CSS preprocessor in our React application. And thanks to Krakow, that makes things easy for us. Without further ado, let's begin. By the way, if this is your first time in this channel, consider to subscribe and hit the notification button to receive more videos. With that being said, let's jump to our code editor. And now in our code editor, as you can see, we have a fresh installation of React. And as you may know, we have two widely used CSS preprocessors. We have SAS and LESS, but in this example, I will use LESS. And uh, to do so, we are going to, I mean, uh, install the package. So like I've just said, um, Crackle make it easy to use. So let's go to Crackle to see the configuration. As you can see, this is how to install the package, okay? And here you have uh, your app, okay? You see the Nod modules and Crackle. So we will need to create a, a Crackle.config.js file in the wood folder. Okay, so let's uh, begin. Let's install the package. Okay, and uh, it's gonna take a couple of seconds to install. After the installation, we are going back. And now we have Krakow installed, as you can see. Uh, let me check here. Okay, so according to the documentation, we're gonna create in the wood folder a file named crackle.config.js. Okay, so um, for now, we are going to do nothing with it because we have one last package to install. Okay, we are going to install the crackle less. Okay, so uh, let me go with you. Uh, to this package. Okay, this is the crackle dash less. Okay, um, how to install it? If you want, you can use yarn, but I'm going to use npm. Okay, npm uh, install crackle less. So this is our package. Okay, so in our code editor, okay, npm i crackle less. Okay, it will take a couple of seconds, and after that, we'll be back. Now we are done with the crackle-less installation. Okay, so we are going back to uh, the configuration of the crackle. But uh, let me go back to the documentation. As you can see, we are in crackle. So this is uh, in the crackle.js file. You can in uh, add your configuration um, here, okay? But uh, as you know, I'm using the crackle dash less. I'm going to use this configuration, right? Makes sense. And uh, let's go back. Okay, so we are using, I mean, the crackle less, okay? So this is our plugin, okay? This is our configuration and let's save. So um, we have a few things to do in order to make it work. So we are almost there. So one thing we should do. So let's open source. Okay, this app um, that CSS, we are going to rename it to less. Okay. And the application will break. Why? It's because uh, in uh, our app JS, we also need to, I mean, add, I mean, import less because we don't have, uh, let's go back, type in and save. Okay. So as you can see, it should be okay. So let's, uh, we are going to check our application. Okay. Because we have uh, one last little thing to do. Okay. Um, okay, let me go um, in this application because you may um, 
notice that uh, this the CSS will break and this is uh, kind of easy to fix so I want to show you uh, I will show you when the what's this? okay when it's okay we should see it okay here we are so as you can see uh, our CSS um, was break uh, it's because uh, we should use now let's go back in uh, the let's go in our package.json okay now we should use uh, i mean crackle okay instead of using a uh, react script we are going to use crackle okay oops and like so so we may um I mean, we start our I mean, uh, application to see, I mean, uh, the effect. Let's uh, stop our server and let's restart again. As you can see, we, we start our application with Raco now, okay? And uh, let me go back with you. As you can see, this is our React application. Now we have uh, our less preprocessor, I mean, setup. Now, how to use it? Okay, as you may know, um, less uh, or SAS, but now we are using less, help you code faster, write your CSS faster. And now let's uh, uh, have some example in our application. Okay, now let's see in practice how to work with less. Okay, so I'm gonna create a folder named less. Okay, inside this folder, I will create, uh, I mean, three files. I mean, the first file layout, that less. Okay, so after that, I will name variables to all our variables, that less. And the last one, I will create a file for the responsive part of our app that less okay and after that i will need inside app that less i will need to import okay um less or slash the first one will be layout okay so i will duplicate two times okay and uh, this one will be the responsive less, less, and the last one, variables. Let's say, okay, it should be okay. So now let's create, I mean, our variable in variable for that less file, okay. Let's say a car, I mean, color dash primary, okay. Let's say uh, we have red for the primary color. It's just example. Understand? Okay. And uh, this one will be um, secondary. Okay. Say um, right and save. Okay. So after that, I will go to app.js. I will um, add. Uh, I mean, instead, uh, I mean, a functional component, okay, R-A-S-E-E, -E. okay, so import this, and uh, let's say, let's add fragment, okay, if dash, that container, okay, inside of it, I will have an H1, Okay. Um, let's say hello less. Okay, so let's save. So now, um, just as example, um, just as example, let me go in. Uh, let me take this class. I will go to the layout. Okay, so you know with less preprocessor you can work with um, nested css 
Okay, this one, let's say uh, width, I mean 100. Okay, let's say height, I mean, uh, mean height, let's say 100 bh. Okay, let's say background color. Um, now I'll, I will use, uh, I mean, uh, our variable color dash primary. Okay, and uh, as you know, to get into, I mean, to take this H1, you're gonna see container, okay, H1. So I will have H1 nested, okay, like so, and color. I will use uh, the secondary color. This is just example. You get the point, okay, and save. So now let's take a look. So guys, as you can see, um, we have the background color is red, okay, and the H1 tag, right, okay. So that's it, guys. So if you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. So if you have question, please uh, drop it uh, in the comment section and don't forget to share it with your friends so that more people uh, can watch this video. And also it helps me, it encourages me and helps with the YouTube algorithm. So um, with that being said, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.